What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Frankie All Work, and I'm back, and I'm back, and I am back. So, Jada brought herself to the Red Table Talk, and um, she didn't just come by herself. She came with her and Will Smith, her husband, and they pretty much talk about the um, August Alcine situation that was going on, and um. It was a, a pretty interesting, short, but very interesting conversation, to say the least. It was weird. But I'm, I'm going to play this clip for you. and um, It's a nice nice couple of minutes, but it's, it's something to listen to from Red Table Talk. I'm going to play this clip for you, and then I'm going to come back with my commentary. Four and a half years ago, yeah, started a, I think it was about four and a half, four years ago, mm-hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Mm-hmm. And... We actually became really, really good friends. And it all started with him just needing some help. You know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for me, that was the thing. When I, when, um, when Aug first came around, he was, he was really Really sick. sick. He was really, really sick, yeah. And the outpouring for him from our family goes... Uh, initially about his health yeah and i mean we found all those different resources Mm -hmm. you know to help pull him through Mm -hmm. and from there you know you and i were going through a very difficult time yeah and we decided i was done with your ass yeah you kicked me to the curb i was done with you yeah (laughs) we marriages have that though marriages have that yeah we basically we broke up we decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy and i'll figure out how to make myself happy. well at that particular point in time it was indefinite yeah i really felt like we could be over yeah know? no and, we were over and then what did you do jada well you know i think from there you know as time went on i got into a different kind of entanglement with August. One thing I want to get clear about and clean up, one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission, which is, uh, you know, the only person that can give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yes. circumstance is myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But what August was probably trying to communicate, mm-hmm. because I could actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were separated amicably and I think he also wanted to make it clear that he's not a homewrecker which he's not I think so I mean because this is your red table and you like brought yourself to the red table I think um, you need to say clearly what happened as far as what you and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened yeah and then I got into an entanglement with August, that's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship. Absolutely. I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first, and then... You're going to get me back. I think you've got me back. <laughs> I think you <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> okay, that might, that's probably true. That's you know, true. but... um. And I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. Um, I'll give you that petty <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back. So, you just heard that clip, and um, like I said, it was definitely um a weird and interesting conversation. It was, it was pretty much like they was homeboys. They was acting like they was homeboys throughout the conversation. I never seen a relationship like it. And another thing I know she kept saying entanglement, but that's just me. But anyway, and that interview was a very deep. It was very deep because it was weird, but it was deep because she stated that he actually broke it off. That August, I seen actually broke the relationship off. I guess he was stressing and going through his little thing that he was going through, and um, so I guess he broke it off. But the whole thing about how they were taking care of him and and and. and, and they, and they basically was, it started off as a, um, as pretty much a friendship. You heard how she, uh, stressed that, uh, a uh, great friendship. You heard she stressed that, like, 
Will a good man. I'm going to just say that. Well, he, he's a good man. But in his head, he probably doing third anyway. And she kind of confirmed it. I'm going to get into that. But when she talked about it, notice people, they basically saying that they basically kind of get got him the resources to get better. Notice they said that. Like, when you listen to it again, go back and listen to it. They, they pretty much insinuated. Well, she insinuated that. Will Smith wasn't really saying too much. He was just... He's a smart dude. He know how to sit back and not say too much. He, throughout this interview, he really wasn't, he didn't put it on himself. He put it all on her. Like, listen, that was your jump off. Now you deal with this. My jump off ain't say nothing. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But the thing about them, right, is she pretty much, she, admit, she admitted it. So a lot of people was feeling like, you know, he, he, he was trying to, you know, do this and do that, and he he blew it up and all that. I guess he really felt as though he had to get this off his chest. I mean, me personally, I wouldn't have did it, but that's just me. I guess he had to get this off his chest. But another thing that I also noticed is that she was kind of confused with the fact that he brought it up because this happened four and a half years ago, and they was in a full-blown relationship you know what I mean? What I didn't know, but you can clearly see when you see the pictures of them chilling together, they was in a full-blown relationship. And she couldn't understand why he did this. So that got me to the conclusion of thinking, like, did he do this because of his albums? His album sells? Because it's, it's, it's doing pretty well from what I heard. So did he? do you think he did that because of this? Or you just think that he really need to get it off his chest? And, you know, I, another question I want to ask, because when I was watching this interview, you know, I was watching Will Smith, right? And, you know, when you look at his face, it's like he tight-faced it a little bit. Like his face, he tight-faced it. Like it seemed like he it, it kind of getting to him a little bit, but it's not. But it's like as a man, and men, I want to ask you this question. As a man, you think you can you can do what he did? Like, like be cool with it like that? Because when you hear this interview, he basically like, he, he really cool with it. Like, like it's about nothing. Like, as a man, do you think you can deal with that or would you just rather move on? Me, personally, I'd rather move on. I don't think I could do And it's so public. That's the thing. They, they relationship so public. I, I don't can't see myself just being like that in public like that. You understand? And, and, and then another thing I want to ask, like, do you think that this is just plain... Do you think this is just maturity? Between them two, or is this, or is, or is this plain just weird? Do you think it's maturity, or do you think it's just plain or weird? Because I mean, like I said, Will he a better man than me? I, I don't know if I can just sit there and just you know listen to that. Like you know what I mean? I don't think I can deal with that. I wouldn't even want to deal with that. But do you think that it's just maturity, or is just plain or weird? You let me know down in the comments. It's your boy Frankie Hard Work. I need y'all like, comment, subscribe. Share this video. Follow me on IG. I'm um, at Frankie Hard Work One. And y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Be easy.